Now you see, one of the main reasons why I, I use the grid method is because if you look at this drawing, you know, everything's all over the place. And, and that's how I used to draw as well before I started using the grid method. And, and quite frankly, you, you just get lost. So I just thought, well, I saw someone using it and I thought, well, I'm going to have a go at that. It took a little while to get the hang of it, but I'm, I'm really, really pleased that I, I, use that me I use this method now. So what I want to try and do today, I want to get as much as we can get done. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish it because I really do want to put in as much detail as I possibly can. Even though it's a black and white grayscale drawing, when you look at it closely, there is a lot of detail in here that I really do want to, to be able to include. So I guess really what I'm going to do today is get as much of the underdrawing done, get it all blocked in, and then just see how long that's going to take and see where I'm going to go from there. So I'm not going to try, I'm going to try, I say try not to do too much detail because it's so easy to get hooked up in detail. I mean I can spend hours over here and nothing happening over here so I'd rather, should we say, distribute those hours in a more economical way and focus on getting everything in place and also blocked in. So I think the plan today will be start from this side here next to the little doll there and, and just sort of sort of merge it over and, and bring these two together so I'll start over here and just slowly work across. I think that, that's going to be the plan. Well at this stage of it. <laughs> I mean that can change. Now if just as an aside I try to respond to all my all the comments and that that I've been getting but lately the last sort of couple of weeks I've noticed even more so in the last couple of weeks that my internet has been so slow I don't know what it is it just sort of keeps spinning and spinning and, and my computer is slowing down a bit too and so I've been trying to produce these videos and that and at the same time I like to keep in touch with everybody so if I haven't, if, I, if you've left a comment and I haven't got back to you, please don't think I'm ignoring you, because that's definitely not the reason. All right, let's get us on the way here. But as I'm sure as you, as you know, there's a lot of time involved in producing these videos, and we're all trying our best. And, and it's important that we support each other. I, that's why I like giving a shout out. And in fact, it's one of the things that I really enjoy is about being on this on this platform is that. You, you know, you can, you can, you can say, you know, well, hey, come and have a look at so and so's because you really find it interesting, and so I really enjoy doing that. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you know, and and you do sort of contribute regularly by commenting and stopping by and just to say hello, the chances are, well, the chances are pretty good that you are going to get a shout out. And if I haven't got to you yet, don't panic. Oh, <laughs> I will. Cause I really enjoy that. It's like a whole new community. Well, it is a whole new community. It's a whole new, whole new world out there. I've just found out that having over 500 subs, you can, you can now use the community tab. And I've, I just started using that a little bit this week, and I've been I mean, pretty impressed with the response. And it's, it's just good to see. And you know, if we all get on that, that'll, that'll help, help our channels to grow. Anyway, I'm not here to try and show you how to. I tell you how to grow your channels, that's, that's something we all work on. All right, with that said, it's probably time for me to stop talking, concentrate on what I'm doing. So depending on what part of the world you're in, once again, put your feet up, grab a glass or a cup of your favourite drink, sit back and relax, and be sure to watch through to the end, because I'm going to give another shout out. And hey, who knows, it could be your channel. <laughs> anyway, Time to go into time lapse. We'll see you in a few minutes.
know, one of the things I've learned over the years is that when you're drawing and trying to do, some, you know, follow a reference photo and, and trying to do a sort of a realistic drawing, is you've got to sort of have a have a have a bit of a plan, map it out, and say you know where you're going because it's so easy to get lost. Once you've got everything in place, you think you got it in place, but always double check, take your time because it is so easy to, to lose your place. If that makes any sense. And the whole idea, for me anyway, by using the grid, is that you know where everything's got to go. Now, having said that. We're always going to be going through what we call the ugly stage. That's just the fact. But I've learned that if you just keep going, and for some, some reason, somehow, your, your hands and your eyes and your brain all sort of sink in. Because you've looked at the picture, you, you've looked at your referral picture, and, and your brain and your everything, and your mind and whatever, and your hands and all, but work, are they working it out? It's like in the background, and behind the scenes, they're working it out. And it may not think you may not think like that at the time, but as I say, I, I've learned over the years to just to rely on that that instinct and and just just go with it. And then all of a sudden, it will start making sense. You go, oh yeah. And another thing too, quite often what I'll do is I'll take a photo, or and, and look at the photo, and then you'll see things a bit differently. Another thing too is that when you walk away, you come back with fresh eyes, you'll see things differently again. It's it's all so important. And never be in a hurry and never go, ah, oh, that looks terrible, and, you know. It probably does look terrible, but it doesn't matter. you just got to keep going. And in the end, believe me, it will start to make sense. I said I didn't want to get into any detail yet. Well, I don't, but I just like to have little landmarks, so to speak, so I know what it is I'm trying to do. All right.
Well, thanks for watching through to the end. I really appreciate that. And I thought I'd leave it there for today because I really do want to put in a lot more detail on it. And I didn't realise how, just how much there was going to be to go into the drawing. I mean, I could do it with a lot less detail, but I really want to do the detail because because it's a black and white image, a grayscale, I think the more detail I can get into it, the better it's going to look. Now, I've decided to do another shout out this week to another very, very special channel. And this channel is called Connor Hart. It's just dedicated to music. So you're going to hear a lot of music. There's a lot of old music, there's a lot of new music, and it's sort of like they've got little stories because there's, a, there's a, a video going on in the background as well. I've been here for a while now, I can see there's a lot I've got to see yet. But there's, there's like, he's got Christmas songs, he's got there's some songs there from the Drifters, this magic moment, the birds turn, 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 the platters, the cores, and they've all got really interesting video footage, you know, in the background. The rock and roll music. Born free. Oh, I really enjoy coming over here and having a bit of a listen. I can see there's a lot more I can listen to. And the thing I like about Connor is that every time I put a video out, he seems to know and he comes along and you know and tells me how much he likes it. You know? So you know, and I really appreciate that. And I'd really appreciate if you go and check out his channel, Connor Hart. And once again, I know you're going to enjoy it because it, I enjoy it. So when you get the chance, pop over there. Tell him Robbie from Rusticated Art sent you. Now, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by and welcome. I'll leave a link up here to my other playlists. And if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. It's free and painless to subscribe. <laughs> Share it with your friends, they'll love you for it. And don't forget, I'm also available for commission work. If you've got something you'd love me to draw, just drop me a line. I've got my email address there in the description below. I've got lots of prints and original art and that on sale <laughs> but anyway that'll do us for today i'll see you next week same time same place and have a great weekend <laughs>